square root of square root of 2023 squared minus square root of 2023 squared minus 1. We want to simplify as much as we can. So first, square root of 2023 squared, this word, the first one, let's write this. It's 2023 minus. Now we should focus on this. It is 2023 squared minus 1 squared because 1 equal to 1 squared. So we can say we can use a famous identity that x squared minus y squared equal to x minus y times x plus y. And here we can say minus 1, 1 equal to 1 squared. So if we apply it here, it will be square root of 2023 is x, 1 is y. 2023 minus 1 is 2022 times 2023 x plus y. 2023 plus 1 equal to 2024. Now we want to simplify more. 2022, 2024. 2024 is multiple of 4. So we can say it is 4 times 5, 0, 6. So we can take 4 outside square root. Look, if we have 4, for example, x, we can write it as 2 root x. So if we apply it here, it will be square root of 2023. We take 4, these 4 outside square root, it will be 2, and we write square root 2022 times 506. Now, in next step, I say 2022 is 10, 11 times 2, and we write times 506 here. Now, if we, mount, we can write it as 10, 11 times 2 times 506, which is 10, 12. Now, let's rewrite it square root of 2023 minus 2 times square root of 1011 times 1012 so let's see what we have here in this case you can say okay we want to write it as a square inside the thing inside as a square of something for calculating these, you should know this famous identity that a minus b squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So here, if I want to write it 2023 minus 2 times, let's write 1011 times 1012 as a minus b squared. Which we know a minus b squared is what? Because of this is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Now let's check one case. The case that we want to check is what we say, okay, it seems that a, for example, equal to this, b equal to this. So let's check this. If we say, um, let's write 10, 12 minus 10, 11 squared. It will be the first one squared 10, 12, second one squared 10, 11 minus 2 times square root of 10, 12 times 10, 11. This part is 20, 23, and we will see it is exactly this. So, we conclude what the thing inside the square root equal to square root of 10, 12 minus square root of 10, 11 whole squared. And then... Let's erase. All this part. So. It will be square root of 10, 12. Minus square root of 10, 11. So. We found the answer of this problem. And after that I want to tell you some how it works. The answer. And pay attention. Sometimes you write 10, 11. Square root of 10, 11. Minus square root of 10, 12. You should consider absolute value of that. It should be non-negative number, this part. And we will see that's so, okay. So let me write a problem as homework. Try to see as homework. K 
Can you solve 2024 20, squared minus square root of 2024 20, squared minus 1? So, try to see, can you use this idea? And if you can't use this idea, if you couldn't use this idea, try to see the reason was what. Uh, you can comment your answers right below this video. If you had questions or wanted to learn more than ideas in algebra, number theory, geometry, and other topics, combinatorics, calculus, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.